got Losers Finals. We got Rook coming out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. At least Georgia. I don't know about Atlanta. Southern United States against uh, Sudrick coming out of sweet, sweet Berlin, Germany. And he, uh, yeah, shows him that German knee right there and takes the first stock. Rook is sort of a, a fox chic dual main. I thought he was only a fox player, but I talked to him. He's, about, he's pretty much a dual main. He says uh, that he, he stays more consistent with the chic in tournament play than he does with fox, so good on him. Looks like he's adapted fairly well to the changes that Cheek has underwent from the transition of NTSC to PIL, aka PAL, but not helping him too much against this very quick Captain Falcon. Sodrick's a beast. He's getting so good. He's relatively new to competitive melee, but he's He's just getting so good. Every time I play him, he's getting better and better. And you can see uh, the fruits of his labor on full display here. His neutral errors are always on point. He's really quick. Always jumps on the first frame. When it's feasible, obviously, not as a pattern, but more of a testament to his uh, technical ability and his timing. Dodges those needles. Rook gets a little uh, predictable with that. I think his name is Rookie, but that he uh, or Rookster. Rook, yeah, but uh, he uses Rook obviously because uh, there's only four characters in the melee gamer tags. Good grab there. Let's see what he can make out of it. Doesn't get the tech chase, but still putting the pressure on Sodrick right now. That jab was the first thing Sodrick to say in a long time. Could have gotten an easy hedgehog there. But you see this like experience is where uh, where Sodrick is lacking, and you see it again there. Could have had two easy uh, hedgehogs there. But he gets the knee finally, and he has a slight lead here in the uh, game one of losers finals. We're gonna have a best of five set, so I hope both of these players realize there's no bans. Players jockeying for position now. Really even. Both players slow percent on their last stock. Rook got the first few hits, and then Sodrake now is starting to establish his grab and tech chase game. Narrow misses with a knee there, and he hits the strong hit knee there, but that shouldn't kill. Rook should make it back from this, but he's another knee, but he should be able to make it back from this too. But Sodrake is just a bit too slow, doesn't make it to the legend time. Definitely could have. Could have gotten that, but messes up a bit. Really good up air there. It was very risky, but he had paid off and he kept them safe from the potential cheek edge guard. Another really risky up B, but he hits him. And Cheek is in a really bad position here. Um, drops the first game. Good stuff to soccer. Yeah. See Rook here on the right. Sodrick on the left, rocking the tank top. We go straight back to game two. Salty run back. It's a lot of hits on that down air. I'm guessing if Rook drops this game, he might try his box out for size. Just misses on that tech chase on the platform there. Gets a good F air to get himself out of the juggle. It's a good grab there, no tech chase. I'm wondering how much this uh, down throw change is messing up Rook's uh, grab game. Good job there. Keeping Rook on his toes. See if he gets his edge guard. Oh, and he does with the down smash. Not quite the silent specter, but we'll take it. See if he can make it back from this. Eats a neutral air. Oh, and he makes it back. Barely spaces out that down smash. I guess some or Rook probably could have timed it slightly better and hit him with it even with that spacing, but it's really hard to do to get the perfect time. The down throw there, and you see, yeah, no follow-up, and I wonder if this was NTSC, he probably would have gotten that follow-up. Probably not used to uh, sending him that far 
ahead of him. Sorry, taking good advantage of it there. Punishes that spot dodge with a brilliant stomp. Goes for the up air there. But Rook makes it back against Sodrek, not quick enough to grab the ledge. He's uh, dropping quite a few edge cards on his inability to get to the ledge. There is just a bit too slow, but he gets him on the second attempt with the back air. <laughs> Double moonwalk in place there by Sodrek using the time between stocks while Rook was on the halo to uh, that little bit. He tries some tech skill. And you see Rook looking to crouch cancel those neutral there, but get sent far enough away to where the down smash is really a problem for Sodrek. Good stomp to grab by Sodrek to up there. Could have been risky, but makes it back. Pushes him down again. Those reverse grabs are so tricky. Oh, misses the stomp there. Gives the rook another release of life, but he eats a really raw knee there. Uh, this is looking a bit rough, though. So gotta be a tiny bit more consistent with uh, his execution here. I want to see his Fox, if this goes to game 3 with the 2-0 Sodrek, I want to see if it goes Fox. This how, but Fox is still the best character in the game. No Jones. Makes a good standoff right there. Rook gets the better of it, but he can't get the edge guard. Let's see if the needles come out, and they do. Doesn't hit all of them though, just a few, but any percentage is a good percentage. As, uh, Sodrek throws out a high forward tilt and gets grabbed for it. You see Rook trying to space him out more with those strong back, uh, back air legs of the uh, game here. And he gets the up smash, and that should be it. 2-0. 2-0 for Sodrik. And I wonder if Rook is going to do something different here. He's lost twice in the same matchup on the same stage. I hope he tries out his box. Doesn't sound like it. Going to the dreams for Sheik. Eh. I would have liked to see how his fox would, uh, would have fared against uh, Sodrek here, but yeah, it's not in the cards tonight. It stomped through the platform. Most Captain Falcons hate this stage, but I think Sodrek's quite decent on, uh, on it. I played him here. Make good use of it. Didn't get uh, messed up by the platforms too much. Getting a bit messed up by those neutral ones right now. Yeah, they're really close for stock, and Rook finally takes the lead. Don't want to get 3 out in the finals. Definitely want to take the game, make it interesting. Look forward there, there. Free ledge. He's back up with the forward air, but it's nothing but air. And uh, reverse up air from Saldrick there. He closes it out, we got a tie game. Gets grabbed there. It's a bit uncareful, standing in the shield. Not responding to Rook walking off against him. You see the second uh, down smash Rook is hit in, or Sodrick is hit in this game. And really bad mess up there by Rook, tossing him a stock, possibly the set. Goes for the Tomahawk down smash there, but Sodrick just stops to keep uh, shielding, and that was definitely the best option. Stomp there, misses a Raptor boost. Slightly low percentage that might have worked. Almost gets fair. And we got the Berlin fair coming out of Rook with that reverse fair to punish Sodrek for going so far out. But still behind in the set. Really lucky there that he got pushed off instead of got grabbed. Gets grabbed. Sodrek throws away his stock at low percent. Definitely a lion flying for Rook here now. Sodrek. Not scared when he gets back thrown at the ledge there. Just jumps back in with a new player. Needs to add on to the quality percentage here. Has, has 12% on him. Gonna eat a knee. He's not gonna live that. Okay. So we got dead even. Slight advantage for Rook uh, here in the, on the last stop in game 3. Rook definitely needs this game. Or, uh, have to uh, find a way to be satisfied with third place of this uh, less than stacked meltdown, I guess you could call it. F tilt to forward air there. And Sodrick is clawing his way back into this game. A couple of knees and uh, this is game over, 3 0. But finally he gets that, and that was so important. Takes game 3. Forces game four. We'll see where Sodrick takes him here. I'm guessing either FD or uh, maybe Pokemon or Dreamland.
I would guess Audric uh, would offer a larger stage. Won't have to. It's not a bad stage for Sheik in this matchup. The lack of platforms can actually be really good for Sheik's combo game. Slash dash attack game. Saw Drake get in a little crazy throw, not a lot of raw smash attacks right now, but he knows he should have had that last game. Threw it away with a low percentage SD. Rook kind of messed up a couple stocks too, so uh, far from decided, but that's definitely not how you want to start game four on your opponent's uh, counter pick. Good follow up from that up tilt, but he has a dash attack to up smash there. Eats a knee in the face for some uh, poorly advised needles. Crouch cancels the down smash there, keeping Sajik honest. Almost gets hit with the people's elbow, but makes it back. Oh, I would have liked to see a forward tilt there for a follow up, but yes, nerves are setting in. Good forward tilt, or forward air there, rather. I don't know about that. Ooh, opted for the mid neutral air, but gets hit by the up B. Just times it slightly wrong. Sajik charging another. Down smash, that time he didn't hit, but he gets hit by Rook's down smash. And Rook getting a little nervous, spot dodging, Sodrick making him pay, taking uh, almost a full stock lead here. But this is Sheik, so she can definitely bring it back. Rook uh, has to really turn on another level here. Goes for a raw up smash there and gets punished. Bit too slow. Oh, we almost could have got an edge hog there, but a little lack of awareness from Sodra keeps him alive. Up throw, nothing of it. It's hit with the up air. Good forward air, a fair. Let's see if he can close it out. Ooh, go for the back air there. Would have probably went better, better off with the forward air, but it makes it work. It's down about half a stock right now. Not too bad. It's definitely still winnable for Rook. I would like to see game five in this set. It's fairly uh, even and exciting. As uh, Sodrick hits with a really smart up air, catches Rook without a jump, and gets a cheap kill on Cheek. Both game the players looking a bit nervous here in the neutral game. Both know it could be over fairly soon if they don't mess up. Slash pull something out of the bag. Good forward air there, and that should be the stock. And we got final stock, low percent both players. Rook needs this to keep the set alive. Sodrick needs this to close it out. Get a rematch with me in, uh, in losers, or in grand finals rather. Good jab to grab there. It's a bit too willing to get grabbed by the ledge Sodrick is right now. I'd like to see a little more care from him, but it's just maybe not just, just not in his style. He's very aggressive by nature and likes to play fast. Dash attack there. Gets away with it. Good, good back air. Both players will probably die off of the next significant hit. And this is gonna be Sodrick. It could have been Sodrick right there, but Rook messes it up. Oh, he could have down smashed there. I think he went for a jab or something and it gets hit by the up B. That's a shame. Oh, and Rook loses his tournament life. Third place for Rook. Not bad for our uh, tourist.